All right, so we're shifting gears now and we're going with Jelastic. Anyone here familiar with Jelastic? Great. Several, several hands up. I think Jelastic, it, it, you know, it's crazy, but I think it, it's fantastic, right? It's, it's, it's so easy to set up something. Uh, I never heard, I've never heard before, to be honest, I've never used it before. And, as, and I think it's, that's what I want from a cloud provider. That's what I want from kind of a platform, something that I can look and easily get started. Right, so they have the concept of you can import environments, you can export environments. They also have a marketplace where you can, you know, leverage pre-configured um, environments. In this case, we're going to go with a new environment, and uh, just like with Payara, Jelastic is also supporting uh, JE8, so that's you know phenomenal. Um, what I want to show here is um, they have support, obviously, for Java and you know, PHP, if someone is interested in PHP. They have Docker and other stuff. Uh, but look at this UI, right? What we're seeing here is we're, we're, we can define and we can use um, a, a good selection of application servers on the Java ecosystem. You know, they have Glassfish, they have JBoss, Payara, and, and, and many others, right? So this is really good. It's not something that you find in every single cloud provider. Um, but with that said, here I'm going to you know, pick up Payara. I want to get the latest version of Payara. Um, it's loading. As you can see here, I'm getting you know, JDK 8. It's the latest version of Payara. If it, it brings you here on this middle box. Can, can you see that? Well, let me, let me uh, give you more. Uh, right. So if you look at this middle box here, it, it, it already out of the box gives you scalability. So you can have vertical scalability, which is basically um, you know, how much memory and CPU you're going to allocate from the beginning. Right, so you know, in this case, I'm saying you know, I'm give you three gig of memory with this much CPU, and you can grow up to a certain level. So if your application under load is under load, your 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 computing capacity can you know increase with you. And at the same time, down below, it's also providing horizontal scalability. So again, if you have one node or if you need multiple nodes, it's just a matter of you know defining what do you want, right? The interesting part here is if you note, it also, once I add more than one node, it created for me that abstract, that, that extra layer for load balancer, adding an Nginx load balancer. So that's very handy and very helpful, um, you know, especially for those that already have workloads running on premises, there's a high chance you're doing uh, this with Nginx or a similar kind of proxy load balancer solution. So that's, it's very um, um, good. They also have some interesting, you know, that they offer you the cost as well, which I think it's valuable and it's useful uh, out of the box. They have some variables, as I mentioned, on the uh, part of the exporting the environment. So there is a pre-configured um, environment installation setup process here that will automatically put your Payara or Glassfish in cluster mode. So before, on the other two options we were looking at, we would have to do that heavy lifting ourselves. Right, so this is, you know, comes very, it's very good. And you would have an environment name, you can give that environment name, set up the DNS and whatnot. Um, one other thing, um, you can, you know, connect your application through Maven. Uh, in this case, I have the Cargo Tracker WAR file here. I can click on it, I have a couple of envir environments pre set up, and I can define, it understands it's a WAR app, it understands it can be deployed to that specific environment. Um, so uh, again, it's it's the same operation as you would do going to a you know console admin saying you know, deploy WAR file. So that also becomes very very handy. Um, the piece that I want to show you is that I mentioned I have one pre-configure um, instance over here. Let's go to it, which is the one that I mentioned about the uh, auto clustering. Oops. Well, let me get this user and password, and I just you know, kind of want to show that um, because I think, again, it's, it, it, does, it does add value as we are going through this. So you're, you're looking at the, uh, you know, Payara. Um, as you see, there is a cluster here set up, and I, haven't, I didn't have to do anything. And then down the road, you, you can deploy your application either through, uh, you know, the web console, or you can just come in here and, you know, select your war and deploy. In addition to that, it also gives some of the me some metrics, uh, oops, this is the uh, topology, but it does give some really nice metrics that you can start analyzing what's happening behind the scenes. Uh, it opens you something uh, that's interesting. It gives you access to some of the files from a folder structure perspective. So um, again, overall, um, with this 
um, with the previous approach, you know, we when we did Docker, we had to create a Docker file. We had to uh, have a learn a little bit about a container orchestrator and whatnot. And in this case, we didn't have to uh, change anything in our application. It remains to be a WAR file, right? And the infrastructure knowledge was very minimal. So I think that you know adds a lot of value for those that want to explore and go take that path to the cloud.